Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Today we're coming to you from the Myriad Botanical Gardens in Oklahoma City. We are inside the Crystal Bridge and everything is blooming and boy, is it decked out for the Christmas season. And another great spot for Christmas cheer, well, it's the Territorial Christmas Celebration in Guthrie. Merry Christmas from the Guthrie PD. I am the uh, chairman of the Territorial Christmas this year. If you have not attended Territorial Christmas, please come downtown. We have the Victorian walks, and I've been encouraging everyone to do things related to what Guthrie was like at the turn of the century. Not necessarily just Christmas things, but wonderful things that were going on then, and it happens to be Christmas. It's very unique because People come from, uh, I think there were some people today from Australia, they're, they're from all over the world, not just in, in the area. We have a lot of people from all over the country, which is neat. Uh, the people are friendly, it's a good atmosphere, they look forward to it every year, and it's a good tradition for our town. It makes us proud to host this type of event, because uh, it's so well received, the people are in good moods, it's, it's that time of year, just people are always friendly. The, the townspeople as well as the people coming to visit us. The Territorial Christmas celebration ends December 21st and the downtown area is decorated through New Year's. No doubt a lot of you are, well, you're like me, you have last minute Christmas shopping on your mind. Lucky for us, Julie Chin has a place in Tulsa where you can find that really nice, perfect gift. It's a Bob Wills hit. But ask any Tulsan about Ida Red and chances are they'll point you to this Brookside boutique. We love Oklahoma and we love sharing that love and helping other people express it. From shirts to salsa, Ida Red features more than a thousand items either made in, made by, or made with Oklahoma in mind. We just hit a sweet spot. You know, we have our niche and I don't think there's anything like it. Alice Rogers opened Ida Red, named after the famous Wills song in 2006, to bring Kane's merchandise from downtown to midtown. Business has been booming ever since. Sometimes people come in and will buy their whole Christmas here because there is something for everyone. Toms and t-shirts are Ida Red's top sellers. We have a shirt that says I've never been to heaven, but I've been to Oklahoma. You'll also find locally made bow ties, books, home decor, art, music, and more. We have just about everything we can think of made in the shape of Oklahoma. Oklahoma cutting boards, Oklahoma bottle openers, that's been a really, really popular item. It says beer is okay. If soda is more your style, Ida Red sells more than 100 flavors. Some are wacky, like buffalo wing and ranch. We got stocking stuffers completely covered. <laughs> we are like number one for stocking stuffers, little things and toys, candy. But if you don't want to do candy, we got great little nostalgic toys and just fun little gifts for kids, little kids. It's quite possible Ida Red is Oklahoma's most unique boutique. I mean, where else will you find a unicorn horn, bacon body wash, or a Bigfoot Christmas ornament? Well, I love the Tom shoes. Um, so I have lots of Tom shoes. Um, I love the OU and the OSU um, shirts and um, They've got great candles. Uh, we have come and got uh, concert posters and all kinds of different things. Um, there's something for everybody here, whether young or old, I think. It, to us, it's a must, um, a must stop. If somebody's in town, if we have friends or family in town, we bring them down here to take a little, a little piece of Tulsa back with them. You don't have to spend a lot of money to find a great gift here, but do plan on spending plenty of time taking it all in. I try to make it that it's a destination. But once you get in here, I hope we've got you. And you're going to look around and see the variety of things we have. Once you come in, you're always going to want to come back. In Tulsa, Julie Chin, Discovering Oklahoma. 
If you want to check out the Tulsa area for shopping or anything else, we've made it easy to learn more. Just go to our website, travelok.com, click on request free brochures and request more information about Tulsa. For those of you who don't live in Tulsa or aren't planning to travel there before the holidays, no worries. Let's head to Norman now to check out Birds of a Feather. Not far from the corner of Lindsay and McGee in Norman sits the old Hollywood Theater. It's been years since anything has lit up the big screen, but there's a buzz of activity inside. Okay, so this is Zen Din, and these are screen printed toddler shirts, which are extremely hard to find these days. This is Shelly with Shell's Vintage Charm. So she has these lovely vintage lace headbands, hand stamped spoon necklaces that are all unique in their own way. There's not any two that are alike. She also has hand stamped bracelets. This one is a very cool story. Okay, um, this is Steel Family Farm. They are located in Washington, Oklahoma. They have a farm with a bunch of goats. The wife milks the goats, the husband makes the soap. Welcome to Birds of a Feather, an open space market for artisans of all kinds, most of them native Okies and all of them Oklahoma proud. This is, um, her name is Penny Southern, and she does all of these magnets and everything. It's all handmade. Um, she does the door hangers. She also has um, Okie Girl, Thunder Girl earrings, and then she can also put pictures inside of these, which is neat as well. Um, and she is here with us, and she's also in several other locations in Oklahoma City. Unique gifts of every shape and size are easy to find. We've got a lot of varied items. There's um, great handmade. Uh, most everything, I think, is, is handmade here, but I think there's a lot of unique items that are um, have a lot of thought put into them. So um, there's you know cute little baby leggings there. There's a lot of great a lot of great baby stuff, and they have a wide variety of jewelry and shirts and home decor. The co-owners are Norman natives who say they're proud to have given new life to this old movie theater. We're from Norman, our husbands are from Norman, and we um, are Normanites for sure. And so we wanted um, something that was important to Norman and we felt like bringing life back into the building would be a great thing. Um, we've turned the you know, concession stand into our checkout counter. We turned the powder room into our dressing rooms. And almost every day they get shoppers who reminisce about the good old days. Absolutely, um, every day, if not numerous times a day, we get some story of the last movie that they saw here, um, the band that they saw perform here. Um, my brother-in-law went to prom here. So um, the building's been used for so many things. Since it opened just a few months ago, Birds of a Feather space has become popular. We'll just keep adding vendors and um, kind of giving them a place, their own personal little shop so that people can see and touch their product. And uh, once we hit the screen, then we'll start taking a waiting list, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. And even if they run out of space, there will never be a shortage of Sooner State Pride. I think that the message is staying strong and staying true to where your roots are and where you come from and being loyal to Oklahoma. The fine folks in Norman would love for you to pay them a visit. You can learn more about other places to shop, where to eat, where to stay overnight. Just request a copy of the Norman Guide on our website, TravelOK.com. From central Oklahoma to the great southwest. Anyone in the Lawton area can tell you there's only one place <laughs> to find real pit barbecue. I come over here on a date with my wife, girlfriend at the time, about 33 years ago and we've been coming ever since. We're headed to John and Cook's for a sample of some of the best brisket and ribs around. And another spot where you can shop till you drop. This one gives you a bit of Native American culture too. It's all ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. Great travel tips anytime. Like Discover Oklahoma on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Another call, Santa. Hey, Santa. Oh, hello, Ryan. Please, Santa, I'm begging you. No more socks or sweaters. All I want is a new Ford Super Duty. More max towing power than any other pickup. Almost 16 tons. It's a beast. I'm just not sure if there's room in the sleigh. You're Santa Claus. You can figure it out. Now during the Ford Dream Big sales event, get up to $5,000 cash back on the new 2015 Super Duty at your Oklahoma Ford dealer. The best in Oklahoma. 
You don't think much about it. You never dwell on how it was made. It's just a blanket after all. But when everything else has been lost, the comfort it provides is immeasurable. The American Red Cross brings hope and help to people in need every eight minutes, every day. So this season, give something that means something. Support us at redcross.org. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from inside the Crystal Bridge and the Myriad Botanical Gardens in downtown Oklahoma City. I love this place. It's such a good place to get in, get out of whatever the winter weather is doing, and kind of it's eternally summer and spring here. I like it. And it's it very makes colorful. my hair frizz, but I love it anyway. <laughs> yeah, tell me about hair frizzing. Anyway, <laughs> you know, this time of the year when everything turns colder, the weather gets colder, there are a lot of us who will do just about anything within reason to stay warm. How about a cup of joe? Okay. That's always a good thing. Our Jeff Roberts has found just the place in Enid. It's coffee with a cause. Here in downtown Enid, we are here to get the 411 on 580 coffee. This is going to be a lot of fun. Check this out. I'm so excited. 580 Coffee House um, came about because we wanted to be able to create a space where um, we could fit so many different types of people in one space. And coffee is something that people think that they need every day. We thought that it would really bring the community together. Sarah, you nailed it. The community has really come together in your pay what you want coffee shop. Now explain to the viewers what that is. By being a pay what you want co coffee shop, by being a place that supports local community, it's a, it's a place that you can come in and maybe you don't have the resources or the time really in your season of life to go out and physically, you know, be, be hands on with, with the poor in our community. But when you come to 580, you're able to support them. Um, and so not only do we want to give you really, really good coffee, we want to give you an opportunity to reach your community um, even if you, um, like I said, don't have the resources to do that on a daily basis. What a concept. Pay what you want and help out your fellow man. Love it. Now, Sarah said something about really, really good coffee. And manager Chad Easton is the coffee guru of Enid. And he helped me make my first cup of cappuccino. <laughs> and there's your cappuccino. You actually did a really good job. Hey, did you hear that? Really steaming, good job. Yeah, with the art wasn't great, but the steaming the art wasn't else is, is great. Chad's honest. He's very honest, by the way. That is so cool. All right, so who wants to taste it? Come on, you know you wanted to taste it. You know, this pay it forward business plan that 580 Coffee House has is really a rockin' idea. But don't take my word for it. Jay Risen thinks it's a great place. It's a place that's absolutely great for Enid. Um, it's, it's great for anywhere. Uh, I'm, I moved here to Enid a couple of years ago from Edmond. And uh, as a coffee shop, as a sandwich shop, as a place just to meet a friend, um, it's as good as a place as, as I know anywhere. So uh, great staff, and they take great care of you. They know your name when you walk in. Oh, and when you do walk in, ask about the Lassie. This is our Lassie, and this is a mango peach dream of a dream drink dream of a drink <laughs> in downtown Eda, the next time you're here you got to stop into 580 coffee house i said it right that time these guys have been giving me a hard time but let me tell you this place is so awesome i give it the jeff roberts stamp of approval check it out in downtown Eden. i'm jeff roberts for discover oklahoma Enid is a great town with so many places to visit. Find out more about it by asking us to send you a copy of the Enid brochure. Just log on to our website and click Request Rebrochures up at the top. You know, coffee's good, love coffee, gotta have coffee every morning, but a lot of Oklahomans know that really juicy brisket and fantastic ribs, they're really better. Just about better than anything. Barbecue lovers can rejoice. We have found one of the best places in the state to get great Q. We'll be headed there next when Discover Oklahoma continues. 
away is the crackle of the campfire. It can be a million years old or a few weeks young. Away beckons from Orion's belt. Away is a place that's closer than you think. Find your away. Go RVing. Boys will be boys. Well, she was drunk. Well, he, he was drunk. She was asking for it. He warned her. Not my problem. Why doesn't she just leave? But he's such a nice guy. He said he was sorry. We don't talk about that. It's just the way people are. We're never going to fix it. No more excuses. No more silence. No more violence. It's time to end domestic violence and sexual assault once and for all. Meet Maria and James. They're smart with money. They clip grocery coupons, save spare change for laundry, and do their federal taxes for free with IRS Free File. Everyone can free file, choose the brand name software right for you, or use online fillable forms. Like Maria and James, you'll get a refund in about 10 days. For taxes that are a lot less taxing, visit freefile.irs.gov. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. Our backdrop this week is inside the Crystal Bridge and the myriad of botanical gardens in downtown Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. Beautiful plants, beautiful flowers, beautiful decorations. It's quite festive right now. Mm -hmm. And I've become quite festive when I can find really good food. You know that. Yeah. And you mentioned beautiful. Well, I, you know, barbecue lovers think that <laughs> really good brisket and ribs Thank are you. things of beauty. Mm -hmm. And I was lucky enough to find a place where they have some amazing food. It's time now to go to John and Cook's Real Pit Barbecue in Lawton. The most important thing about John and Cooks is that we keep old-fashioned ways. Uh, we don't deviate from it. Uh, the cooking has always been the same. The recipes have all been the same, and we don't change anything. And over the years, from generation to generation, we have always tried to make sure we keep a consistent product and that our customers know what they're gonna get when they come in here. Barbecue runs deep in the veins of this family, a fifth generation restaurant. It's been around 90 years. But wanna know one of the biggest secrets to John and Cook's success? John is, a, is, a, uh, is the key to this whole thing. Uh, and John is my cooker. You can't beat it. I don't care what anybody says. If it ain't brick, it ain't a pit. And that is true. If it's not brick, it's not a pit. You could tell, everybody else could talk about all the smokers and cookers they got. But if it's not brick, it's not a pit. That's why we call it real pit barbecue. Each meat is given great care. No matter what you order, if it's seen the inside of that brick pit, you know it's going to be good. Friday and Saturdays, John and Cooks is known for their chicken, but there's always hot links, pulled pork ribs, and beef brisket. As far as with the brisket, the brisket cooks anywhere from 10 to 12 hours, maybe 14, depending on the day how I feel. But majority of the time, it's 10 to 12 hours. My ribs, I cook them anywhere from three hours to four hours. They're slow cooked. And once John is fired up, he's rolling. I mean, hey, that it, I only cook with 100% wood. No gas, no charcoal, none of the other stuff. Pecan, hickory, post oak, blackjack. That's it. No mesquite or that other wood. I was gonna ask you something. It's all wood. I mean, it's, you don't know how to light a fire, don't mess with it. The result of this don't mess with it way of preparation and cooking can be seen in the fact that generations of families have been coming here and there's no letting up in sight. Food's great. Uh, I come over here on a date with my wife girlfriend at the time uh, about 33 years ago and we've been coming ever since <laughs> and the food is the ribs you can't get ribs like this anywhere in Oklahoma they got the best ribs in, in the state and I've eaten a lot of barbecue it's always good that's why we keep coming back <laughs> uh, uh, they've been here in the same place it's third generation family uh, you know what you're going to get, and I mean, it just doesn't get any better. Their sides at the restaurant cover all the bases from potato salad, coleslaw, and baked beans. Everything homemade and made from scratch, and oh yes, once again, you guessed it. I have a potato salad that my grandmother 
started back years ago and it's like a mashed potato, but it has all the ingredients in it and it, it's very good. Uh, we have a coleslaw that's just an old time favorite, cooked old fashioned way. I do baked beans and, and those beans are made a certain way and I don't deviate from that because if you do, the customers will know. Uh, they'll let you know about it. They'll let me know about it. You know, eating barbecue with your hands, I think, is simply more satisfying than allowing a knife and fork to get between you and your hunger. Standing by John, the brick pit, as Lonzo takes out a rack of ribs, he stays true to his method, and the results are some of the best ribs I've ever eaten, and no sauce is required. You know, there's only one way we cook it. This is the old school way to do it. Mm -hmm. You don't cook it this way, it's not barbecue. That's what my grandpa always told me, and that's what I do. If you're looking for the next great place to eat on a road trip, you need a copy of our Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide. They're easy to get and they're free. Just go to the TravelOK.com website, click on Request Free Brochures. We'll send one right out to you. All right, let me state the obvious. Christmas is just around the right. corner, and that means for guys like me, we need to jump to light speed and get some Christmas shopping done now and not go into panic mode. Oh, okay, don't panic because we have just the thing for you coming up. The perfect place to go and find a unique made in Oklahoma gift for that somebody special. It used to be a candy factory and it used to be a furniture store, um, you know, through the decades. We'll take you to the heart of Oklahoma City and show you Exhibit C when Discover Oklahoma continues. For you, Mr. C. Oh, hello, James. Hi, Santa. I've been on the nice list for seven straight years. And he's only eight. He's good. I guess I can throw in another video game then. You can put that in my new Ford Fusion with great gas mileage and get me where I need to go. And I gotta go to the barbershop to get a fresh new lineup. Lineup? Oh, you know. Now get 0% financing for 72 months plus $1,000 or up to $3,000 cash back on Fusion at your Oklahoma Ford dealer, the best in Oklahoma. Sweeping down the plane, and the waving wheat, it sure smells sweet, when the wind comes, right behind the rain, oh, Oklahoma, every night, my honey lemon heart, sing alone and talk, and watch a hop, making lazy circles in the sky, you know we belong to the land, and the land we belong to is grand, and when we say, We're only saying you're doing fine. Oklahoma. Oklahoma! K-L-A-H-O-M. Oklahoma. Okay. <laughs> Oklahoma. Come see for yourself. I'm getting close to China. This portion of Discover Oklahoma is brought to you by the Heartland Flyer. Book your ticket through Southern Oklahoma today. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. When you're in downtown Oklahoma City, it's, it's almost hard to believe how much change there has been in this city over the last 10 or 20 years. No kidding, and one recent addition has put a new spin on what's called cultural tourism, not to mention a great gift shop in the heart of Bricktown. Quintran takes us there. Oklahoma City's Bricktown brings energy, built by the many retailers and restaurants, and now there's a new attraction, Exhibit C. Exhibit C is, is a new contemporary take on cultural tourism. Exhibit C highlights everything Chickasaw, from crafts and fine art to books published by the Chickasaw Press and Bedre Chocolates. There's a story that we can tell them about every piece of art that they see or every piece of, piece of merchandise. A lot of the Chickasaw artists that we have on display here live in Oklahoma and they are a great example of Oklahoma artists making a living doing what they love. So many of these artists still live in the state and so it's a great opportunity to celebrate not only Made in Oklahoma but it's a Chickasaw product made in Oklahoma. Exhibit C features an art gallery and retail space, all housed in unique space located at 1 East Sheridan. It's a contemporary space. Uh, the building that we're located in is almost 100 years old, so it is very old with concrete pillars and um, concrete floors and ceilings, and it was a very harsh environment. It used to be a candy factory, and it used to be a furniture store, um, you know, through the decades, and what we wanted to do is embrace the building. 
bring in new organic soft elements. So we really used woods that were um, available in nature and um, design around that space with contemporary lighting, very open feel, a lot of glass, a lot of opportunity for someone to come in and experience all of the offerings under one roof. Bricktown is the perfect location for Exhibit C. More than a million people pass through this area every year. People who now have a special place to experience native culture. There's nothing quite like it in Bricktown. I'm excited to go through it. We have such a rich cultural heritage in this state. I just appreciate the emphasis on the natural world and uh, tradition and cultural influences. We are a living art exhibit. Step inside Exhibit C seven days a week. Admire the work of more than 20 artists. Their work celebrates Chickasaw culture and Oklahoma's native heritage. In Bricktown, Quintran, Discover Oklahoma. Exhibit C is in Bricktown on East Sheridan. They are open 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. most days. Well, I guess we better finish it before Santa comes and boots us back out of his sleigh. Looks like Santa's <laughs> running a few minutes late, yes. We want to say a big thank you to the folks here at the Myriad Botanical Gardens in downtown Oklahoma City for hosting us this week. All righty, and coming up next week on Discover Oklahoma, an encore reshowing of our 1,000th episode. Join us to celebrate 24 years of Discover Oklahoma. We'll show you some of our favorite places to visit. That's next Saturday night, right here on Discover Oklahoma. As we leave you tonight, we want to wish you and yours a very Merry Christmas from all of us at Discover Oklahoma and the Oklahoma Department of Tourism. And with that, we want to leave you with a few scenes from the Christmas celebration that recently took place at Grand Lake. So until next time though, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. Our intrepid Ford Explorer is provided by the Oklahoma Ford Dealers, official partner of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department. <laughs>